Yo, listen up, here's a story about a little guy that lives in a blue world and all day and all night and everything he sees is just blue like him inside and outside blue his house with the blue little window in the blue corvette and everything is so blue what's up my dudes so we got yamahas baby <laughs> yammer slammers you know what it is got the foreign running on diesel dog <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I wanted to come here and make this video because uh, a lot of people ask me, yo, Spencer, what bikes do you ride in real life? Hell, some people don't even realize that I even ride in real life. <laughs> I can't tell you the amount of comments I get from people that ask me, like, Spencer, do you even ride in real life? Like, do you, like, listen, people, I have a helmet cam video of me riding, okay? All you got to do is go back and look at my helmet cam playlist that I have on my front page. Hell, I'll just link it down in the description, man. I'll put it in the... I'll link you to a video in the uh, in the description and in a comment. So if you're like, if you ain't never seen me ride in real life, I can link you to that video. So you can go check that out. But yeah, uh, yes, I do ride in real life. I actually raced for uh, pretty much like five or six years, semi-strong. You know, I probably raced uh, not like crazy hardcore, but I mean, I certainly, you know, been around the block when it comes to motocross in real life so yeah but uh, a lot of people ask me you know what bikes do you have what bikes do you ride you know what's your favorite motocross brand right and uh, basically okay it all started off with this little puppy right here and, and you like the yama lube on the floor and you know, what's up dog <laughs> but we got started off with this puppy right here okay now this is actually a CRF 230F which with Hondas, the F doesn't just stand for four stroke, it stands for kind of like a family street and trail, something like that. You know, with the Hondas, it's like the R is what the F is on the other bikes, a little bit confusing, but either way, um, yeah. So technically, this is the first bike I ever actually started riding. And, you know, it's the first bike I learned to ride on, but it's not even really a race bike. Like it's not, you can't take this to a motocross track or you're gonna explode this shit's right here in about 2.5 seconds right so uh like there's no suspension on this thing really at all you can jump about mm, five feet up in the air and any more than that and you're gonna break your back <laughs> so like yes this is the first bike i ever started riding but really it's not in a certain sense like uh the the real first real motocross bike i ever had was a 2004 yz125 that's what this is right here don't get confused by the newer looking plastics that's that's uh been put on it and been made to fit it but this is actually a 2004 and uh ever since i got this bike this uh yz125 it's been yamaha's from there on out bro <laughs> ever since i actually got my first real race bike and actually was able to take this on the track and hit you know roller sections fast and hit big jumps and stuff with it that it was pretty much history from there uh so what really got me into yamaha it is basically like there is something synonymous with that like specifically yz125 i don't know what it is but there's just something about it dude uh and some of you guys can definitely you know feel my vibe here like there's there's just something about that old school yz125 i think when you talk about 125s yamaha is is some of the most like memorable memories in my mind anyways um and it seems like there's a lot of other people out there too that kind of had that little symbiotic like you know specifically like that year between like 2000 to 2005 yamaha 125s there's just something about it i don't know how to explain it so that's kind of what first started me into one into yamaha's and into 125s and that's why you see the number 125 that's that's where all of it came from was this bike right here right um my first real race bike you know i absolutely love 125s to death because of this bike and it happened to be a yamaha so that's where the whole yamaha yz 125 number 125 that's where it all comes from bro <laughs> so you can kind of see where it's at so that's the it started over here right really simplistic street and trail uh crf then it went to my actual race bike i probably rode this bike right here for maybe 
mm, maybe like three or four months. It wasn't long at all. And then I got the YZ125. I never even raced on this bike right here. You know, that just goes to show you like it was truly like a beginner starting bike. So I never even raced on this puppy. But this bike right here is the first one I raced on, this YZ125. And uh, got a little gas leak down there too. I've had that problem for a cold minute. But uh, yeah, man, a lot of memories on this thing. Like you just can't replace what you know those those old days smelling the two-stroke fuel and like i mean there's just something about it that i'm glad that that's how i got into motocross right because it really made me respect like the old school motocross days and stuff like that with the two strokes and didn't just hop in on a brand new four stroke at the time you know i got into it around 2010 so uh that's i ha got that bike in 2010 or 11 right and so if i'd have hopped on a 2010 YZ250F brand spanking new bike I would have never experienced real motocross right it uh brings you back down to earth when you get on a bike like that but so much fun man still to this day favorite bike to ride on favorite everything about it so that's where the Yamaha legacy started right then it went to the 250F naturally now this is actually a 2007 uh YZ250F uh obviously both of these were used and uh yeah so basically went to the whole four stroke thing and uh really enjoyed it i just uh I, I was wanting to try the four stroke out right it got i mean i'm a two stroke lover till the absolute death of me but there was just uh, it, you eventually get to that point where it's like all right i want to try this whole four stroke thing so that's where that bike came came into hand there and a uh, lot of memories on this puppy right here I felt like I was able to do a little more on certain tracks with this bike. I was able to learn tracks a little bit quicker, not have to have as much, you know, shifting control. You know how it is with a 125. You got to be right on the money when you're shifting that thing, especially big jumps coming out of corners. A little bit easier to do it on this bike. You don't have to be right in that perfect gear everywhere. So it's a little bit more simple with this, but never forget the good old days. I'll always love this bike. And I plan on making some more videos riding on it and stuff. 125 riding videos. They're going to be coming soon. Don't worry. So raced a crap load on this. This was like in 2012, 13, 14 even racing. My main racing years was these two bikes right here, right? And all of them's got new plastics on them, right? None of These are none of the plastics that came on these bikes when I first got them because I either broke the front fin. I had some old school cool like fenders that i put stickers and stuff on for this i still have it over there somewhere but um you know i'd, I'd break the front fender break back fenders popping willies so eventually it just got to the point where i put all new plastics on all of it so either way then like in 2014 i bought a 252 stroke yz okay uh and this thing uh the power of this is awesome it really is i just I, there was something about 252 stroke i really wanted to experience that and have that whole experience like you just naturally go yz125 yz250 yz252 stroke right but now if i ever really want to ride this bike hardcore i'm gonna have to do some major suspension work to it there's some stuff little issues it's got um you know there's just some things i'm gonna have to fix on it and uh truly really all that comes down to it uh the guy that had it before me did some different modifications to it so i might have to do some stuff with it to get it you know really working like i want it to um and then then i'll be able to ride that bike like i want to just just gonna if i ever have any super extra money laying around i'll, I'll uh, get that bike fixed up where i can totally ride it but yeah that's yz that's 2005 252 stroke right there so we got that on deck and this baby right here <laughs> okay the finally got a new bike right I was kind of debating on getting a 450, and then I was like, eh, I ain't really trying to do all that. I mean, I could have had the whole YZ125, YZ250F, YZ252 stroke, and YZ450 four stroke, but the, I just, the, I really like the way the 250s was in 2016, and that's what this is right here. I really like the whole design around it, and I wanted to experience that new 250F, and I'm, you know, I really wasn't even to like the weight or the height or the, you know, everything body wise to really need a 450 or anything like that. And I just really didn't even want one. I would rather be on a 250 right now anyways. I mean, to be completely honest with you, I'd rather be on a 250 until I was forced to be on a 450. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I like 250s better. I like the nimbleness, especially when you get a new one like this. It's actually, uh, you know, up on the power end and the snappiness of the, uh, 
all the stuff with the fuel injection and all that so yeah man this is uh this bike right here has barely been rode you got i made a video strictly on this bike right here but yeah uh basically just going back to why i love yamaha so much and a lot of people don't realize this but uh you know a lot of people see like my videos of uh mx simulator i'm either on like a suzuki or i'm on a kawasaki i got some videos where i'm on a yamaha and mx simulator but some people get it kind of twisted and they think they might think I'm like a Kawasaki dude or I'm like a, you know, Suzuki dude. I like all bikes. I'll ride anything, right? Like it, you know, I'm, I'm motocross lover before anything, but if it becomes down to preferable, it's definitely blue, dude, all the way. <laughs> uh, but uh, you just, you, you grow a certain love and an attachment to certain things and reasons why and stuff like that. But uh, the reason why I don't run a Yamaha and MX simulator all the time is simply because the way they the way that some of those custom front yamaha fenders are in that game i can't turn very good with them and that's just the way it is and so that's why you see me either on a suzuki or a kawasaki so if they'll come out with a good yamaha front fender for mx simulator that i can actually use in the game then i'll be on yamaha right that's why you see me on yamaha and but basically every other motocross game that i play like mx versus adv reflex all out all that stuff i'm on yamaha's fish monster supercross game I'm on yamaha so when it comes to MX Simulator, it's just a lack of good front fenders that have been made in the game that I feel comfortable enough on to run that as my actual thing there. So either way, uh, yeah, man. But another big reason why it just the whole Yamaha, I'm such a two-stroke lever, right? And Yamaha is the only company other than KTM Husqvarna, which is the, damn near the same company. <laughs> they're, you know, they're the only Japanese brand that's doing the... Um, the two strokes still right so that just plays into the whole thing like i was telling you before with the first real real race bike first real bike being yz 125 two stroke till the death of me love it and yamaha is still doing two strokes so i'm still going to stick with yamaha and all the stuff they did around the 2016 time where all these other brands were going to the air forks and having all kinds of issues with it suzuki went to air forks now they're back to spring forks you know all the problems they had in yamaha kept it spring forks the whole time they didn't jump the gun on the air fork thing i just i like i like yamaha's mental state of mind on a lot of things you know a lot of their thought processes on stuff um that's that's one thing that i really respect and appreciate and uh that's that's another gigantic reason why i'm so into yamaha in the way that i am you know uh but yeah i just love the way 2016 it's like a it's like a race bike but it's totally stock i love that style to it and that look to it i think they should continue that i think they need to bring back the black rims keep this sort of front fender style you know they kind of went to a new one with the 450 and they went to blue rims come on now yamaha let's get her back <laughs> let's get her back to black rims the this fender right here i think i like that fender a lot better than this newer one they're coming out with for the 450s but uh either way man it's uh yeah i just want to come here and make a video kind of explaining why i love yamaha so much and what you know what's my bike brand of choice so that's what it's all about dude so let me walk over here real quick <laughs> i know this room's like a mess this is my little dirt bike room right here boys so uh let me see if i can find it got all kinds of like old school like ps1 ps2 games up in here uh, original xbox games yo boys boys house real big cars real big belly real big everything real big oh man what a classic midnight club 3 dub edition remix bro we need to get us some uh gameplay on this on my channel pronto asap dog uh we're gonna be making i'm gonna start doing that by the way guys start doing a lot of classic uh you know let's plays and gameplays of some really old school like original xbox games and ps freaking two games and crap like that so uh that's the plan man for sure so either way uh hope you guys enjoyed a little real live video here you're gonna have a lot more of these coming on in the future i know i didn't really like you know show my face and whatnot i was trying to show the bikes off here but uh yeah man yamaha is where i sat dude yamaha till the death i mean <laughs> it's the way it is you just you grow such a history and such a passion for a certain brand and it just it's what it is it's that yz125 That'll be always my favorite motocross bike, period. That's it. You, you'll you never be able to get a, a better, in my opinion, as far as like fun factor, 
simplistic nature, you know, cheap, every, everything about it, you'll never beat the YZ125. You won't do it. it it's impossible. So, uh, either way, man, appreciate you guys watching all the videos. Later, dudes.